actually this is going to be a quick one called get yourself a amp meter um, I got an inline amp meter like this one because you can plug it right in I got this little firecracker 50 amp plugged right into the um, inline watt meter there and the firecracker 50 is uh, warmed up fired up little one tuber you know firecracker 50 does about 50 watts I think it uses a single 6LQ6 but that's why I had I, not why I was making this video if you got an amp meter like this because most CB amps don't have a plate current meter plate current is actually uh, basically the amps that the um, tube is putting out you know the plate is the output and current is amp so I could guess I could rename it uh, two amps you know if your amp had a plate current meter um, since I got this you know big bad alpha sitting there you can see that it's got a dedicated plate current meter and you can see on the meter it also called DC amps right that's two you know on the plate amps but most CB amps don't have that so one way you could tell kind of sorta of, how many amps the amp is drawn let me turn the browning now it's amazing the rejection that that browning got because uh, I got it on receive on an antenna and I got this and this on a dummy load on 40 on a dummy load and it's not in interfering with the uh, browning there on a transistor radio I wouldn't even do it because it might blow the receive but anyway back to this video in standby with this amp on warmed up and running it's pulling about 0.3 amps you know about 30 watts you know for the power supply to go the lights to light doesn't have a fan on it you know a fan would pull another half amp and if it was a bigger amp it would pull a lot more um, than that even in standby but I just wanted to show this little amp 0.3 not keyed down somewhere around there which is about 30 watts you know 0.3 times to 120 volts or so coming in and then we're gonna key it down I guess I'm on that watt meter with the dummy load and I'm dead keen about 60 watts hello 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 standing still but I didn't want to show that it's what I wanted to show is these amps jumped up to about 1.4 that's the line amps that this uh, whole amplifier is pulling when it keyed down right so even if I had no watts out I know that this amp is pulling something when I key down 1.4 amps is about 1.4 times 120 um, approximately about 160 170 watts something like that I used to be good at math but I'm old and it's late right so when I key down this um, amp jumps up you know another 100 watts 110 120 watts or so and with efficiency and all that it's putting out you know 60 65 watts right so it's pulling what it's supposed to and it's putting out what it's supposed to but I'm gonna detune it right quick and I unkeyed this thing has a delay to it I don't like that but anyway I bought this by the way on eBay for like 12 bucks uh, you know cheap Chinese um, amp meter now just got it I wanted to try it out and you know see how it worked but anyway I detuned the thing so I got it tuned so I'm putting out no watts right zero watts out actually I'm going to tune it up right quick just to show you here turn the tune now there are my watts tune it back down to zero I'm not going to keep it keyed like that however I'm going to key it up right quick even though I got it detuned which is bad on the um two by the amplifier because the amplifier is eating all those watts now instead of the watts going out you know uh, to the watt meter and the dummy load and the dummy load takes those watts uh, all of them are being eaten by the two because they're not going out but anyway I just wanted to show that key down come on delay now I'm even pulling more watts 1.7 because I got a detune and those watts are not going out so I got 1.8 amps now so I know that 
you know, my um, input side is working because when I key down, it's pulling the correct amount of amps. The tube is working, it's pulling something. It's just the tube, the um, watts are not going out. So if I have this condition where the uh, amplifier, no matter how big or small, is pulling the right amount of amps that it's supposed to, and it, which this is, and it's not putting out, I can work on the output side. You know, anything, it may be the tube, but probably not. It's probably, you know, something in the tank circuit, which is the output circuit, the tune cap, load cap, you know, loose connection on the coil, bad jumper coax internally, or bad relay, dirty relay, you know, why the thing ain't putting out. Um, and actually, I can smell the uh, tube on this um, amplifier then got hot because I keyed it down uh, without the output, you know, tuned up. Amps again don't like that. So I'm going to key it down one more time right quick and tune it up. There we go. Always tune for max. If you don't, your amp is eating those watts. Your, your tube is eating those watts. Instead of them going out, they going right back in the tube because they're not putting out no matter what's wrong. Whether it's the relay, the, the output circuit, a bad jumper, dirty relay, whatever it is. Um, if you ain't putting out watts and you drawing the amps, if you got an amp meter or you know like that one, you drawing the amps, you're not putting out, um, them, that tube is eating those watts. It won't last long like that. And um, I, like I said, I can smell the... Um, Got a little bit of overheat burning smell off this one right now. So I'm going to put this baby back up. I just pulled it out because I didn't even remember if this thing worked or not. This little Transel Firecracker 5016LQ6. But anyway, we made this one because uh, our new toy, even though we got an old amp meter up there, but that's connected to my Variac so I can Variac stuff up. And watch my amps and my volts and my watts to make sure it's doing what it's doing. So we bought this one so we can just plug the amp right in. And, and when we key it down, we can see if it's drawing the proper amount of amps or not. And it kind of gives us another idea of which way to go, you know, of what's happening with the thing. Anyway, I uh, hope that helps somebody. Good luck. Bye.